Well, 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 more people are piling on the back of Lizzo wanting to sue, and I'm sure she's like, I don't know what they want from me. It's like the woman in the college, no problems I see. Yep, that's what Lizzo is saying, I'm sure. But what do you guys think? Do you really think that Lizzo was the meanie and the different people working with for her were the meanies that they made it out to be? Hmm. So much for this because I needed this right now. God's timing is on time. The four-time Grammy winner wearing a black strapless gown, gloves, and diamonds did not mince words while being honored for her work helping black communities, including a quarter-million-dollar donation to black-led organizations. It's easy to do the right thing when everybody's watching you. And it's what you do in those moments where nobody's watching that defines who you are. And as we all know, she was being sued by three of her former backup dancers. But somebody else has piled on to Lizzo's plate. I don't know what they want from me. Okay, so now this designer is coming forward. And... Let's just hear what she has to say. Artist, I'm really big on black female identity. So everything that I do has a deeper meaning to it, and it's seen in the collections that I create. Asha Daniels is a fashion designer with a passion for making inclusive clothing. Now she's coming forward as a new accuser with her own story about working as part of Lizzo's The Special Tour. As a black woman in the industry, whenever I kind of suffer. Now, I mean, I... What what these women are giving, and I is, um, apologize if I'm wrong. I'm just letting you know how they're coming across to me personally. Now I could be dead wrong. I could be I could be so wrong, but how they're coming across to me personally is that they're just using this as an opportunity to promote themselves. You know, you may have had some of the dancers who are looking for um, solo careers, wanting to be from the background to the front ground. This designer, she's showing her wares and stuff. She's been on many, many uh, television shows um, telling her story. And um, there's now even you can watch on hulu uh lizzo's legal limbo um this is basically about lizzo the superstar entertainer is under fire she's being sued by three former dancers and now a designer claims her team is responsible for sexual harassment and racism lizzo is denying it all but can the star's image recover of course it can recover it can recover. I mean, they would have to have some hardcore evidence of something absolutely disgustingly horrible that she was doing. Um, but yeah, it, it comes across to me like they're just um, seeking some sort of publicity for themselves. And they're willing to take her down for to do it. an abuse or a injustice, I've kind of taken it on the chin and kind of just gone back to work. While she never interacted with the star directly, she's accusing the star's team of racial and sexual harassment. I'm coming into work with someone who has physically assaulted me, with someone who's threatened me, someone who is not allowing me to go eat when I need to eat. I think it's extremely damaging in the court of public opinion because of the image that we've all believed Lizzo to be. Daniel's complaints are part of a growing list of legal actions mounting against the pop star. Back in July, three dancers filed a lawsuit against the singer and her production company, alleging sexual and racial harassment, even assault, plus creating a hostile work environment. Lizzo is denying it all, defiant for all to see. From shopping sprees in Beverly Hills to popping up at Beyonce's
show in LA. For years, Lizzo has been known for promoting body positivity and self-love. With songs like About Damn Time. I think vulnerability is sexy. I think vulnerability is extremely powerful. That's why, you know, you see me in my most vulnerable state. I was already a fan of her message about love, about women's empowerment, about black women's empowerment. And so I was really excited to get to design for this world stage where such a beautiful message was going to be delivered every night. I decided to go with this white lace. Daniels had already proven her chops on Project Runway. Seeing my look come down the runway, I am like, yes, God, honey. Later, starting her own line. She was beautiful. And eventually finding her way to Lizzo's tour in February. I feel very pretty. But within her first few days on the job, Daniel says things weren't quite as beautiful as she'd hoped, in particular with Amanda Nomura, a supervising agent for Lizzo. She says she was helping her move a clothing rack when things started to go awry. She rolls over my foot with this really heavy rack. And so I kind of like wince and I'm like, wait a minute, my foot is really hurting. Like, yeah. I need to stop. I need to sit down. And so she pushes me into the rack and she says, don't make excuses, like take this rack. According to the claims in the lawsuit, Daniels claims due to being shoved, she lost her balance and rolled her ankle, which led her to wearing more comfortable shoes the next day to minimize the pain. She alleges Nomura demanded that she change into tennis shoes. And so I'm stunned because I've never had anyone put their hands on me, especially in a workplace, um, and of all places, on tour with Lizzo. The only thing that's different be between how she interacted with me and how I saw her interact with other people is that I was a black woman, and she felt like she could get away with treating me that way. But Daniel says Nomura wasn't the only staff member who was unprofessional. She says the tour... I mean, it's mostly black people on the tour, and Lizzo is black. I mean, I'm not saying that these women are lying. It's just what they're giving me, the energy that they're giving me is that they're full of shit. You know, they're giving me that full of crap energy. It's just something about them that's just full of crap. I don't know what it is. I can't put my hand on it exactly, but... It's just, I, I'm not really buying their, their stories. It was an overly sexual workplace, pointing to one alleged incident in a team group chat with Lizzo staffers. You say in the lawsuit that there was a group chat with nearly three dozen people, more than 30 people, and there were times that what was discussed made you uncomfortable. There is a picture that was sent to all 30 plus of us of a porn star who was erect and his genitalia was out. Management was in that group chat as well. Nobody reprimanded the person who sent it. Daniel says she was inspired by the three young dancers who were also suing Lizzo to tell her own story about working for the star. When I saw them speak up, I thought that's what strong looks like. And I was really proud of them because I knew how toxic the work culture was on that tour uh, firsthand. The two lawsuits are now renewing scrutiny about Lizzo. We reached out to Lizzo and her attorney to sit down with us. They declined. Daniels claims she heard a senior staffer on Lizzo's team mocking the girls and even Lizzo herself in a racist way. You say that uh, Amanda would allegedly mock Lizzo. Yeah, Amanda would regularly mock both Lizzo and the big girls, and she would re refer to them as fat or just like a bevy of like really inappropriate things, useless, lazy. And I told her like, this is actually really offensive. And, you know, she just laughed it off. Most of your allegations are against Amanda Nomura. What about Lizzo herself? Since you never interacted with her, how much responsibility do you think she has in all of this? I'm a business owner myself, and I was so shocked that Lizzo's workplace wasn't in line with who we know as the star Lizzo. So I can say in my own life, I'm responsible for the people who work for me and who work on my projects, and I think that everybody is. Well, she's just trying to get paid and publicity, because even if you're going through something in the workplace, there's a chain of command that you need to go through to sort of remedy the situation 
you don't just go immediately and jump on a bandwagon and sue. So, you know, I just, I don't know. Asha was let go by Lizzo's tour manager just a few weeks after joining the team. We reached out to Amanda Nomura for comment. She didn't respond. I think being famous puts a target on your back, but I think anyone who's known online, if there's a parasocial relationship that someone has with the public, there's always a risk of something happening. Lizzo recently received a humanitarian award from the Black Music Action Coalition, where some of her dancers introduced her talking about her positive impact on them. For a lot of us, you know, um, she was the first person to ever believe in us and actually just like show us love and believe in our talent and our craft. And we thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. The singer later said in her acceptance speech. And I'm going to continue to put on and represent and create safe spaces for black fat women. Well, however things work out for these young women or those who were, who feel that they were negatively affected by Lizzo's tour and for Lizzo herself, I wish them all the best. I do think that as far as Lizzo is concerned, in a, a, a space or in a place or in a world, I should say, where a certain type of beauty is constantly promoted um she represented the diversity of what beauty is as far as the different types of performers that she had alongside herself and it is important that we recognize that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and that we need to celebrate that diversity. Um, beauty doesn't always come in the form of white, blonde hair, blue eyes, size two. You know, or somebody that looks like Kim Kardashian. So uh, one of the things that I can say about Lizzo is that she celebrated the diversity of beauty and hopefully things will resolve itself in a timely fashion with whatever is going on with these young ladies. And if they are looking just to get get attention and notoriety for themselves off of Lizzo's backs, they should be ashamed of themselves if they truly were experiencing things that were inappropriate. I hope that Lizzo will humble herself and remedy the situation and go forward. None of us are perfect and we all have things to learn. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. Peace.